Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I'm here to share this cute, quick and easy gift card holder with you. So let's get started. For this gift card holder, we're going to use the Press On stamp set. This is from the Stampin' Up! August through December mini catalog, and of course you can find it in my Stampin' Up! store. There'll be a link for it in the description below. Now we're going to start with our coffee cup stamp on the Stamparatus and a piece of Whisper White. And I'm inking in Mint Macaron. And I've got it on the Stamparatus because I want to stamp a second time to intensify the ink color. Okay, because I'm going to color that in and kind of do a tone on tone thing with it. So let's remove this piece and then we're going to flip the plate around. This is one of the things I love about the Stamparatus is I can line up a couple of pieces and be ready to go. So I've already die cut um, a circle from Bermuda Bay with the stitch shapes circles and the reason I pre-cut it is because again it's easier in this instance to do the stamping on the die cut with the Stamparatus rather than um, hoping that I've lined it up well and then die cut it. So I'm uh, inking tone on tone with Bermuda Bay ink. Oops, and I seem to be over just a little bit. I had lined this up before I came on camera and must not have paid enough attention. Okay, well that was an easy fix just to give it a little slide. And then I'm going to just pop this out and flip it around 180. Let's turn it just a smidge. I don't think this middle section is going to matter because we'll have other things there. So if there's a little overlap, not a big deal. Okay, and there is, but that's all good. Okay, so let's set that aside and move this out of the way and let's get to the coloring. As I said, we're going to go with a little tone on tone here, which means that I'm going to use my Mint Macaron st uh, Stampin' Blends, and I'm just going to bring the dark ink in here on the edges and lightly across the center there, and then coming right back with the light Mint Macaron and blending towards the center. And I'm just going to leave that little bit of white there. It helps to give some shape to the front of the cup. And then we're just going to do the same thing down here and bring that dark in and then blend it out with the light. And I'm working back and forth because you don't want your ink to dry before you've had a chance to blend it. And I'm going to leave that same little bit of white there, or almost white there in the center and it gives, helps to give that cup a little bit of shape. Okay, so let's grab my paper snips and cut out the cup. This is easy, fussy cutting. If uh, you prefer to leave more of a border, you can check out my one simple trick for fussy cutting, 
and it will help you leave a larger white border that's kind of uh, perfect for whatever you have stamped. So let's almost done here. Okay, and then we need a sentiment. I've got a quarter inch wide strip of Whisper White for the sentiment, and I'm just lining that up with my grid paper and opening my Bermuda Bay, and then have my sentiment here. Let's tap on that ink. And then I'm actually going to move this down so that I can kind of see over top. I think I'm still in video range. There we go. Okay, put that out of the way. And then I've got this Banners Pick-A-Punch and I'm just going to slide this right in here and center this on the point here and give it a half squeeze to hold it in place and you can see that I'm centered right and left before I punch. Okay. Next, we need to score our base for the gift card holder. Okay, so I've got my paper trimmer and I've got a piece of crumb cake that is four and a quarter by 11 and we're going to stick it in and score at two and a quarter and then five and a half. Okay, pull that out, put my paper trimmer aside, and then let's bring that over and match up the ends here. And I'm not seeing my bone folder, so I'm just going to use my fingers. It was here a moment ago. And then I've got the two and a quarter inch circle punch, and I'm just going to nip a partial circle out of the center here, like so. Let me set that aside. And then here is my uh, stamp and seal plus. And I'm just going to come all the way out here on the edges. Do not come in from the edge. You want to stay all the way out at the edge, otherwise you won't have room for your gift card in here. And here I've come a little over, and so I'm just going to take my finger and roll that back in. And then make sure that all those little bits are in, and then give this a little bit of a rub, like so. Let's move that out of the way. And next, I've got a piece of Whisper White for the inside. And it is four by five and a quarter. So a standard card layer. And then I have used the wrapped in texture embossing folder, um, this one here from the August through December mini catalog to emboss Mossy Meadow cardstock. And I've got a strip for the inside. And just going to put that here. And then we'll add this other piece here. Okay. 
give that a moment to adhere. Let's put the lid back on the glue. Okay, I have found my bone folder, so let's just give these creases a, a quick rub with that. And then they won't be trying to open up. Um, let's grab those dimensionals and we're going to put them on our Bermuda Bay circle. I'm just going to be leaning over the edge just a little bit so I don't want to come all the way out to the edge on this right hand side. Okay, and I'm trying to keep this overlap in the kind of center position because then you're not going to see that when we get the rest of the card together. So now I'm going to add a strip of tear and tape across here. Let me turn this and, and tear. And I'm going to give this a burnish with the bone folder. Makes it easier to pull the backing off of the tape. And next we're going to add some of the basket weave ribbon. This is a mint macaron ribbon. Can you see the texture in this? And it also comes with this copper metallic in the basket weave and metallic combo pack also in the um, August to December mini catalog. Though for my money, this is a, a good year-round ribbon. Now I'm just adding a little tear and tape to the back of this ribbon. It'll help to hold our loops down. So, let me take my scissors and neaten this edge just a little bit. There we go. Now my cup is going to sit about in here, so I'm not going to ruffle it there. I'm going to start once I think I'm past where the cup is going to sit. And then we'll just do that and come here and cut along the edge. Let's move all of this, these things out of the way and grab the cup here. And I want some dimensionals on the back of, of this. I'm starting right where the words start. This piece will be tucked under the cup. And I'm not trying to lift the cup further. There we go. Okay. And I'm kind of going to put these down together because I don't want to cover up the words. There we go. Okay, let's give that a swish out of the way a little bit and then let's embellish that. I'm going to use some of the in color enamel dots. The cinnamon cider dots have me thinking they're perfect with uh, a coffee themed something. I'm just going to put a, a trio down here in the corner. Let me check that spacing. It's not quite doing it for me. That's a little better. And we'll put another one up here. And then I'm going to come across to here, kind of tie the whole thing together. So that's a quick and easy gift card holder with your pocket inside for the card. This was Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. 
give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell if you would like to receive notifications of future videos. And of course, there's a link in the description for all the products that I've used today. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.